I always encourage farmers when they call in to uh, do a kill stop and, and you just saw me, I, I just simply on this older machine just reach over, grab the throttle and we're coming to what's called a rolling kill stop. Everything stops same time, motor, uh, rotor, sickle, reel, the whole, the whole thing. Some of the newer combines is a little more difficult. Uh, I would suggest you throttle down and then click the toggle switches and then pull back on the hydro and let the motor idle for a little bit to, to cool off. So the other thing is everybody says well, I've never done one and what am I looking for on a, on a kill stop? So the first thing we're going to do is open the side of the combine and, and we're going to go in here and, and we're going to take a look at the threshing area first. And we're going to reach down inside and we're going to grab some of this material and what I'm looking for is I want to see soybeans and I want to see the hulls uh, of the pods and that's all I want to see in that area. I don't want to see a lot of stems, I don't want to see unthreshed pods, I just want to see threshed pods and soybeans and that's what should be in the auger bed in the threshing area. Now in the separating area, I'm also going to examine what's up inside the rotor. I'm going to look at the straw to make sure I haven't torn it up real bad. I'm also going to look and see, have I got some, some stems uh, that, that have some pods attached to them and uh, that way I know that I, I haven't torn it up too bad. And, and I'm trying to get as much of that material to stay on the upside, on the top side, and send it right on out the combine because I don't want to deal with it down here. And uh, so I'm going to examine that material up there and make sure that I'm not dropping too much fodder or ground up silage down and so that I don't overload the chaffer. Let's go take a look at the tailings. So this is the tailings elevator on this, this old combine right here. And so we're just simply going to open the trap. If you want to put a bucket underneath to catch it, that's fine. But I, I normally just use my hat and uh, let the material fall out uh, so that I can see what we've got. And uh, exactly, this is, this is what I expected to see. Um, some, some green pods um, that did not thresh. And we are gonna send a few of them on back. Uh, but for the most part, they're, they're broke open. Um, here's still lima beans still, still in the pod. Um, I got a few cracks, some fines in here. But again, the, the tailing should mainly have unthreshed heads. It shouldn't have a whole lot of fodder or a whole lot of silage in it. It should be relatively clean. So now we're in the back end of the combine and uh, after a kill stop and what I'm looking for is number one, the distribution of the material um, that's on the, on the top sieve. And you can see for the most part, we've got some bean holes on just about every section. So we're getting relatively uh, decent uh, distribution from left to right. The other thing that you will notice is that toward the back end here, there's not much air. And as the combine came to a rolling kill stop, the airstream cut off and then all of the bean holes dropped right down on the top sieve. But we can also look up front and you can see that uh, we've got some, some clean area um, up here on the sieve and that's where the majority of the air blast is at, is, is right up here in the front. So as that material comes off the shaker pan down here, then the airstream is coming up through these wires and separating the chaff from the grain. So I think we're looking good up in here. I do have one soybean stalk and uh, that is something we don't want to see. But the rest of this material is exactly what it's supposed to be. A few ground up holes, but not a lot of silage. With that, um, I hope you've enjoyed the information. Um, as always, uh, feel free to uh, send me a text message or you can call me, uh, send me a photo, uh, any of those things. I'm, I'm happy to help you. My cell phone number is 309-368. 1182. I may not always get to it right away, but eventually I will get you called. But before I go to bed at night, 
and uh, or call me early the next morning and uh, we'll kick around a few ideas and I guarantee you we're, we're going to get your combine to run the way it's supposed to so that you can have a successful soybean harvest and you can have a lot of fun doing it. With that, I want to say thanks for watching the video and have a safe and fun harvest.